space, humanity's final frontier. From the humble invention of the Wright Brothers glider to the moon landing less than 70 years later, technology has come a long way. However, there is still so much about space we just don't know about yet. But how did space travel and exploration all begin? After the Second World War, the United States and the Soviet Union wanted to display their prowess by reaching for the stars. Both superpowers were able to successfully launch rockets, satellites, and even animals into orbit. In 1961, the Soviet Union was the first to put a man in space, Yuri Gagarin. Not to be outdone, the United States soon trumped the Soviet Union's crowning achievement. In 1969, Apollo 11 successfully landed on the moon. Not just content with the moon, most superpowers also wanted to explore the rest of the solar system. Unmanned probes were sent to visit the solar system's other planets and moons. The most successful of these, Voyagers 1 and 2, were launched in 1977. Together, these two probes have done flybys of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Back on Earth, the Russians proved that humans could live in space for months at a time, sending a number of space stations into orbit during the 70s and 80s. These culminated with the launch of Mir in 1986, which continued to operate until 1998. On that same year, the International Space Station was launched, where it continues to operate to this day. Scientists also wanted to bring space materials back to Earth without having to send astronauts. In 2003, the Japanese Hayabusa spacecraft was launched on a mission to collect samples from a near-Earth asteroid. It returned seven years later, landing in South Australia. In its payload were a small number of particles collected from the asteroid itself. Not to be forgotten, Mars was also the final destination for a number of unmanned rovers sent by the US and Russia. The most recognizable of these, NASA's Curiosity, successfully landed in late 2012, where it continues to find evidence of whether life was once possible on the Red Planet. So where will space exploration go to from here?